guys, uh, if uh, you're just joining us with this video, this is called The Passion, John 14, Part 1. Uh, this is the start of what will become a very long series on the lead up and the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Um, I suppose uh, The Passion of the Christ by Mel Gibson would be a good example of uh, what we're going to cover. Um, you'll have to excuse me, I'm in my um, bedroom and um, got my mocha coffee. I've only been up for um, four minutes. Um, it's 3.05 a.m. or five minutes now. Um, when I realised I was awake and I didn't need to go to the toilet and I was, wasn't being able to get to sleep again, um, I realised that uh, Jesus wanted me up. Uh, yesterday I was asked to get up at 3.15 to um, pray for Heidi Baker at a conference I was going to. It looks like my cycle's back. Uh, I went back to sleep at 12 o'clock tonight and once again, I'm awake at three, three hours, three in the morning, and it's not my choice. But such is life. Okay, so excuse me if I'm a bit tired, and excuse me because I'm in my room, which is normally outside. But I've got a backpacker uh, that was sleeping in his car, which was homeless. Uh, now we're living in the house for the next three days until he goes off travelling again. He's got no money, so um, excuse me for those reasons and I'll get into them. Uh, John 14 verse 1 says, Let not your heart be troubled. Um, um, let, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, but believe also in me. Um, sorry, I was so tired, couldn't focus and stuff. Uh, uh, please excuse the fact um, going to check the time through all this on the camera. The time's pretty low, so we're at two and a half minute mark. Sorry for the taking so long. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Okay, um, uh, obviously what, what's he saying, why to be troubled? Um, 13 ends with 13, 37, 38 ends. Will you lay down your life for my sake? Most assuredly, I say to you, the rooster shall not crow till you've denied me three times. He's just said that to Mark. So then he's gone on to disciples, or he's just said that to Peter. Then he's gone on to his disciples, including Peter. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Okay, now, let's get this in context. He's telling the disciples, um, looking at the time again, uh, he's telling the disciples to um, not to be troubled. Uh, they believe in God. Well, he was in me. Um, he's talking to some guys who've been hanging with him for three years now. He's just about to die. He's told them he's going to die. And uh, he's telling them that um, not to be troubled. Uh, you know, you, you believe in my father. Uh, it's obvious, you're Jews, you're passionate. You've spent three years uh, serving me in my name and my father's name. Um, you're troubled now um, that I'm telling you that I'm going to die. And uh, don't be troubled. Uh, don't be troubled. Uh, regardless of the fact that I've just said I'm going to die and Peter's going to deny me, don't be troubled, okay? Um, you know, you believe in my dad and God. Um, believe also in me, okay? Just as much as you believe in the Jewish God and you go to the sacrifices and you uh, you go to the parties and the high days in the Jewish calendar and Passover and things like that. Uh, just, just as much as you do all those things and abide in the law and do all the Jewish things that make you a Jew and someone who serves God, um, believe in me, you know, just, just just like uh, you believe in Papa Daddy, 
you know, just be, uh, Abba Father, just just as much as you believe in God, um, folks, you know, boys, I've been here three years, so just as much as you believe in God uh, that you serve, believe in me, man. Come on, believe in me. You know, I know you're passionate into God. Well, I want you to be passionate into me. Uh, that's what he's saying. That's the context of what he's saying. Uh, we'll just leave that. Chapter 1, verse 14, verse 1, uh, there. Okay? That's what he means with Believe Me. Um, this is going to be a long series with many, many videos. Uh, that's John 14, verse 1. Uh, we'll go on uh, in the next.